Hello and welcome. I'm going to play Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Cartridge on the Intellivision. I didn't just say cartridge to tell you I'm playing a cartridge. That's actually part of the title. It's a little odd, but I think they did that just to differentiate this, the video game, from the pen and paper Dungeons and Dragons game it's got the license for. I was going to say based on, but it's not really based on Dungeons and Dragons. It's just a selling point. I mean, it is a fantasy game. It does have dragons, but that's pretty much the extent of it. So it was released in 1982, and it has four difficulty levels. Now, I'm going to play on the medium difficulty. There's easy, medium, medium, hard, and hard. But medium, hard, and hard, too tough to play while I'm talking. So, and easy is just way too easy, so I'm going to go with medium. And the objective is to reach that mountain on the far side of the screen, all the way to the right, the blue mountain. The color varies based on your difficulty, so medium is blue. Gray would be easy, red would be medium hard, and purple would be the hardest. Now you're going to see those same colors here as I move. On those three dots that are blinking, each one is essentially a different life, but they represent supposedly three different characters, three warriors. So when one dies, you get the next one, but they all look the same. There's no, like I said, there's no role-playing, although D&D &D is considered the first role-playing game. This is not a role-playing game. You don't gain experience or level up. It's just, it's a really fast action game. You can get through it fairly quick, but you could also take your time and explore every one of these black mountains on the map. As they get close to them, they'll change colors. And it's an indicator of what's inside the mountain. So it's not the difficulty like the main mountain over there is. These just represent what's in them. Purple is a key. Gray is just extra arrows. So you don't really need that unless you're going to play a long time and explore. Red is an axe. It's another gray mountain. We also need to find a blue mountain. But there might not be one at the start. No. So... The map varies every time you start the game. It's all rather random, but you always need an axe, a key, and a boat to get through the map and reach the mountain. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to enter the red mountain. That'll give me an axe. And on the other side of that is the forest. If you can't tell what that is, it's all that kind of squiggly green stuff in the middle of the screen. And you can only navigate it with an axe. Just like you can only cross a river with a boat. And then those jagged black straight lines over close to that mountain are walls that you need a key to get through. So I'm going to enter the, the red mountain, get the axe, and then looks like we'll be able to uh, explore pretty far. But this map, you know what, this map, I don't know, maybe we can diagonally cross through up top. Because this map looks tricky, like you might have to go in extra mountains to get through. Because after you get through a mountain, you can exit out the other side. That's another way to get get across some areas. But you always need those three items. So basically, you enter a mountain and it's considered a cave system, which is a bunch of maze, like a big maze, that you can't see what's, ever see what's ahead. You have to just, you know, move forward and hope nothing too dangerous will be right in your face. The game builds tension, especially on the, the two harder difficulties. It also uses sound effects very well, like right on cue, that was a snake that you can hear in the distance. I like to call it a serpent, the manual calls it a snake, but it's more like a giant serpent, I'd say. So now, if we move forward, it might get attacked immediately. Uh, but you never know which way it's, the path is going to twist. This is what makes it tricky. Now. The game begins the character with only three arrows, so I've only got three shots. A snake takes two to kill. I could take a chance and shoot straight up, and maybe I'll hit it. But arrows, you don't want to waste them if you don't have a lot. And they can ricochet off the wall and come back and injure you. But I'm going to try shooting an arrow. Well, it ricocheted, but it still got it. That was a pretty good shot. Hoping it would come down the path. Over there in the right is a, that purple thing, the blob. Q 
can't kill those, just have to avoid them. Okay, I'm gonna back out of here. I don't like this approach, and now I'm down to one arrow. Oh boy, sounds like there's a different snake. I gotta find arrows first. Man, I'm already, I'm hearing another. It can't be that many snakes. I don't think there's that many. Yeah, I'm gonna run away because I don't have enough arrows. Now there's a run button, but you can't really shoot and run at the same time because the arrow shots are eight number keys on the keypad. If you're familiar with the uh, Intellivision controller, it's it's got a big num numpad on the top. So there's a lot of buttons for this game. Many games don't use this many. But eight keys are used for firing arrows. You can go up, down, left, right, and all the different diagonal directions. There's a pickup button, an exit button, which has to be pressed when you're on a ladder, then an arrow count. So I press the arrow count, and that one click just means that one arrow. So if you use your thumbs on the controller like most people, you would have to you know, control your movement in fire or control your movement in run. It's so basically your options. Now the game could, oh, it's the same snake. The, uh, the game can't be played with two players. Both controllers work at the same time. Boy, that's not good. I think that, I thought that was a dragon track, but why would there be a dragon? Ah, oh, arrows, thank you. Maybe that's something else. I, there's different tracks that kind of indicate what enemies nearby. Well, we need to go back up and kill the, uh, the serpents or the snakes. Because they have exactly what we need. But there's a blob in the way. And now I forgot. Oh yeah, two player. You can play with a second player. Which I used to do with my neighbor. One player can control the movement. And the other can fire the shots. Which makes it a lot easier on the harder difficulties. Those dots there are... It's a rat. Rat tracks. Dang. All right, let's kill this serpent or snake. I'll just keep using different words to describe it. Get kind of close. On uh, the harder difficulties, they are really fast. You basically have to run in the opposite direction and fire. So that one was guarding the exit. The other one must be guarding the uh, the item we need was the axe, I believe. This is the cave I entered. Yeah, blob is blocking that path. Basically, you know, the, the enemies that take two shots are usually guarding something. The object you need in the exit. Is this the way? I can't even remember. Yeah. Yeah, I think the path just reset because I never completed it. I had already hit that one earlier. See how the axe was up there. See how many arrows I have. Eh, a few. We're going to have to find more as we go. So I wanna... I'm going to do a full playthrough. I'm not going to die. I'm going to make it. <laughs> so I'm going to make this kind of quick. I'm going to just exit this mountain. And then pass... Into the forest, you can see you're holding the axe now. So there's a blue. I just want to see. Okay, there's another blue. So it can cross there, which is good. We just got to find a key first. Oh, where are the keys? There we go. I think this is one of the best games on Intellivision. And I'd say of the generation. It's got certainly tension. It, it does harder difficulties. They're hard. So it gives you a challenge, gives you replay value. I mean, all these, it, it's all pretty random the map and the mountains, the mazes. And you can play two player. 
It's got a lot going for it. Alright, the noise I heard up top was a dragon. Bats don't really do anything but make a lot of noise so you can't hear what might be ahead. But we need to head back up to that dragon. It's going to have the key probably, or the exit. But I didn't like the approach. I like straight approaches. <laughs> They're much safer. I thought it was over here. Oh, it's curving. Now I don't hear anything. Oh, there it is. Must be over here. It's gotta be right there, right? And that's the exit. Still gotta get the key. Oh, that was not good. That's a spider. It just stole the rest of my arrows. Now I gotta go find arrows or I can't fight anything to get the key. See, a lot of enemies are more of a nuisance than a threat, but they can cause all kinds of problems. All right. I don't know how many you get in a quiver. Let me count if I can. <laughs> they, t they do that. Those ticks so fast it makes it hard to count. But it's part of the challenge. They don't put on screen how many arrows you're carrying. Alright. Sounds like the dragon's nearby. Oh, now there's a bat making it hard to hear. Yeah. Oh, we upset the dragon. Where is it? Must be the up. Must have been the up path, which looked like a tough path to take. Oh, good. More arrows. Oh, there he is. Ah. Oh my gosh. And there's a demon. It, it's hard to press the buttons and move. <laughs> ah. All right. I lost one life, but yeah, I see where that was now. I don't remember. They reset you back at the start. But yeah, there was a demon coming in there too. That blue. That blue enemy, that was a demon. This is the annoying spider. I don't know how many arrows. Oh, Alright, got a lot of arrows still. I'm getting hit. And they're they're like twice as fast on the hardest difficulty. They're in your face. Alright, so he had the key, I believe. And I think we uncovered the exit, right? I can't remember. Yeah. Exit was somewhere we've already been, I believe. There we go. Alright, now I just need to get the boat. Let's go up in the top one here. And you can already hear a dragon. Ah. Alright, still have a bunch of arrows. I'm gonna need more before the final mountain, though. Just because the final mountain has winged dragons guarding the two items you need. And they take three shots. Boy, those guys are always guarding something. Did they move? Huh. I thought they were always guarding something. Maybe not. I already played through on easy. That was my first recording. I just thought it wasn't interesting enough. So maybe on easy they just are always guarding something. But they throw a lot of extra harder enemies in on the medium and higher difficulties. Oh, these spiders. Can't let them steal my arrows. I gotta find more too. It's tough in close quarters to fire the arrow, exactly. There you go.
And now a bat and something. I think that might be a demon. Oh, fired those two off quick. Yes, yeah, so he is guarding the exit. We still need to find the boat. That's pretty much how it always is. It's, you know, like you can actually everything's color coded in this game. So, you know, blue demons guard the boat needed to cross the blue water. The red snakes guard the axe. And those are in the red mountains. The demons in the I guess yeah, it's not the blue water, it's the blue mountain. And the purple Mountains have the purple dragons guarding the keys. So we're looking for another demon that's guarding a boat. Demons don't make noise though, so you gotta look for the tracks. It's not positive which track is a demon track. I think it was those what we saw before. I mean, it makes sense since he was there was a demon nearby. Of course, the character looks like the traditional Intellivision Running Man, only he has a you know a bow in his in front of his face. All right. That could be for the boat. Yep. And if I could stand on it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so we can get to the uh, mountain now, the end. I should say that I have a blog post that kind of goes along with this video. I don't normally make them for Let's Play videos, but... I'm making one for this because I'm posting this video on what would be Gary Gygax's 80th birthday. He's the uh, co-creator of Dungeons and Dragons. He developed it with Dave Arneson. And the blog post will mostly be just repeat of what I'm saying in the video, but I also have an interview with GamePro Magazine scanned. It's just one page. It's not very long. He mostly actually talks about a video game based on Dangerous Journeys, which is another pen and paper game he made later after he left TSR, which was his, the company he founded that managed D&D. But, and he sounds really excited in the interview, but that game actually, the video game version of that, of Dangerous Journeys, never released. So they were just inter interviewing him while it was in development. The mountain we entered actually is called Cloudy Mountain. You can see clouds above it on the map screen. And that is a subtitle for this game. It was added later though. Alright, we can hear a winged dragon. I assume. Heard something. Like I said, winged dragons take three shots. I'm going to shoot an arrow down and see what happens. Ah, didn't hit anything. Could still be there. Oh, now a snake. Oh, now a dragon somewhere. Where is it? Must be the other way. Now I still have some arrows. Might need more though. I think it's up. I think the dragon's up here. I think that might be a dragon print. Yep. Ah, can't get the shot off. Run! Okay, now in this cave, you need to find two pieces. This is one of them. It's the crown of kings, and once you find the other one, the game will end. I uh, only have two arrows. Got to find more arrows or can't kill the winged dragon. It'll be guarding the other piece. Yeah, I apologize if the controller is really loud. It might be more so when I'm playing this, just because well, the way I'm playing, keep moving slowly and hitting the disc a lot. But I gotta keep looking at the controller too to make sure 
my thumb is in the right place for these <laughs> shots I'm taking. Boy, this is tough because we really need more arrows and finding those before encountering a difficult enemy is the key. That's why you could explore the Grey Caves before coming here to get a lot more arrows. We're just trying to speed things along. Oh, look at that. Now we're all set. Just gotta find the dragon in the crown piece. Oh, I can hear the dragon. Now I can't hear it. Hmm. Oh, gotta go back over here. Let's be down this way. Oh, almost hit myself. There's a danger launching arrows. You don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, this is a curved path. I'm wasting arrows too, but... Oh boy, it's gonna get me. <laughs> uh, see, it was just... That path that just puts you way too close to the dragon. But now well, at least they unveil them, so I should be able to take him out safely. Unless I do something really stupid. Which wouldn't be surprising, but <laughs> I should be okay. Well, I don't know which way it is now though. I should be able to see it ahead of time. Blob. Trying to remember the paths, I don't know. I get easily confused. Oh, there it is. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> That's what I mean by doing something stupid. Whew. Bounce that arrow back at me. Ugh. When you turn blue, it means you're hurt. Turn red. Well, you probably saw it the stages as I died really quickly before, but red means near death. Alright. Gonna win the game. Huh. Game can get intense, like I said. Those harder difficulties. Those are where it's at. Now, I'll add a clip before I go to show you the hardest difficulty, but I'm not going to play through the game again, so thanks for watching if you don't care about that, but I'll be right back with another clip, very quick one. Alright, I'm back on the hardest difficulty just to show you how fast dragons are. I'm in a cave with dragons, and I died once already just to uncover where it was, but now I'm having a hard time finding it again, but I know there's more than one anyway. Oh, is that it down there? No, that's a blob. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's super fast. <laughs> oh, that is insane. Insane. You can't outrun them. I was running, and I, I couldn't get anywhere. You gotta fire fast. That's why it really helps to have a second player on the harder difficulties. Well, thanks again for watching.